Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here. And you can see earlier in the week before this game, Adam Jones was traded to the Braves for Brandon McCarthy. And then, not needing Kashner, he was traded to I th to the Mariners for relief pitcher with B potential, Seth Elledge. LHB potential, obviously, as I just said, 57 overall. Kashner wasn't needed, as uh, the Braves actually came to us asking for Jones. And since he was struggling so much, and we've had, um, and we have some pretty good players um, uh, in center field that can come up, we decided to let him go. So you can see your new uh, new trading block. We finally put people on there. You can see uh, who was. Put on Machado, Givens, um, Alvarez, Beckham, O'Day, Davis, Cobb, Valencia. Just the older players. And now we'll get into the game in which, again, for the second time, we will play the Yankees. I only played this game because it was, it, or it is, Brandon McCarthy's debut game as an Oriole. Came over from the Braves, obviously, as I just said in the Adam Jones trade. I didn't make that trade. The computer came to me, and uh, yeah, I thought that uh, it looked good, so I accepted it. Carthy, 5 and 6 of the 3.05 ERA and 12 starts this year, so pretty good numbers for the 34 year old veteran. And Tyler Wade will lead things off for the Yankees, hitting 200, no home runs on the year so far. And the pitch. There's a strike from Brandon McCarthy. The 0-1. There's another ball. Or sorry, the first ball. Partly cloudy today. Here at Camden Yards in Baltimore, Maryland, and the pitch. And that is a ball as well. Well, we see more control issues like last episode with Andrew Kashner and company. There's the pitch. Looped. Mancini coming on, and he stops, and it's a misplay. Misplayed by Mancini, and Wade will ha get into second with a two-base error. On Trey Mancini, that could prove to be huge. Instead of trying to catch it, he just lets it fall in front of him, and then he can't come up with it. So here's Ronald Torres up. Try, we'll try to drive in the run. That ball is hit foul into the stands. 220 average, three home runs this year for Toe. And the pitch laced and it will be caught by Manny Machado and he throws to first for some reason so with that here's the Yankees lineup Wade, Torres, Judge, Stanton, Sanchez, Walker, Gregorius, Andujar, and Tyler Austin so Judge is up right now always dangerous Aaron Judge And the pitch, low, for a ball. Always want to get ahead in the count on Judge. He does really well when ahead in the count. So not a good start for McCarthy. The 1-0, uh, that is a ball as well. So falling behind on Judge is McCarthy. A 2-0 count now. And the pitch. There's a strike right on the black. And it is 2-1 now. And the pitch. There's a ball. The pitch. Gets away from Cisco, and Wade will get into third. So now all Judge needs, realistically, is a ground ball to the right side to score Tyler Wade. 
Oh, sorry, that was a walk. Stanton up now. There's the pitch. Strike. The 0 1. Ball. 1 1 now. And the pitch. That is in the dirt. No one will go anywhere. Nice block by Cisco and the 2 1 from McCarthy. Hit sharply. Will they be able to turn two? Davis to second. Got one. Beckham, and he's just safe. And the run will score. Tyler Wade will score. And it is 1 0 Yankees. Nice try by Davis to turn two. Maybe could have let that go foul. Maybe would have had a better chance, but I think he made the right play. There is a strike to Gary Sanchez. And the 0 1. That is fouled off as well. The 0 2 to Gary Sanchez. Switch. That ball is hit well to right. And Gentry almost overruns it, but he does make the catch. And it is 1-0 Yankees after the first half of the first inning. Bottom of the first now, Sonny Gray gets the start for the Yankees, 2-3 and three record. And Tyler Wade has been pulled from the game after half an inning. Brandon, Brandon Drury will take over for him in center. Here's Tim Beckham up. Ball's hit on the ground to Gregorius at short, and Beckham is retired for the first out. Here's the Orioles lineup. Beckham, Mancini, Machado, Davis, Scope, Valencia, Gentry, Mullins, and Cisco. Uh, Mullins, obviously, will now be the new center fielder with Adam Jones uh, traded. Actually, on uh, Mullins' uh, Major League debut, he hit a home run in his first at-bat. That was pretty cool as Mancini pops it up. Sanchez rips off the mask and will make the catch. Two outs. Yes, so Mullins can play there. San Santander can play there. Hayes, Austin Hayes can come up and play there. Some options there. Uh, Mullins obviously was the fourth outfielder. No fourth outfielder as of today. There is a catch. Machado is retired, and that is the first inning. Bottom of fourth now, here is Tim Beckham up, and that's going to hit him. Comes in and hits Tim Beckham, first pitch of the inning. See if the Orioles can get something going here. That is their first base runner. Here's Mancini up. Double could score Beckham, depending on how deep it is. And the pitch. That ball is ripped, and it is down. That's going to be a double for Mancini. Will they send Beckham? Takes a big turn, but he will not go. I think he probably would have been safe, but it's in the fourth inning. You got no outs, and you got your three, four, and five hitters up. I agree with that call by either Beckham or the third base coach. So here is Manny Machado having a great start to the year, and that gets away, and no one will go. Throws back to second, and he's safe. Both runners advanced, but they saw how far away it got. Started to advance, but they saw that it uh, didn't get too far away from Sanchez. There's a ball to Machado. And the 1-1. Fouled off right down the middle. Machado should have done something with that. That could be the only chance that he gets of a good pitch to hit here in this at-bat. And he tries to check his swing, but he went around. And Machado strikes out. Not what you want to have happen with runners on second and third and no outs. So here's Chris Davis up now. Again, still scorching hot. He's had a scorching hot 
first two months now, early June here, first week of June, Davis uh, chases that one. And the pitch chases that one as well. And the 0-2 to Davis. In the dirt, he'll check his swing, but then he starts to run anyway, and he is retired by Sanchez. So second and third now, two straight strikeouts with runners on second and third and no outs. All you have to do is put a ground ball to the right side, and you have yourself a run to tie the game, but no. Two strikeouts, and that one hung and Scope fouls it off right down the middle, a hanging curveball from Sonny Gray, and Scope just fouls it off. That ball checks swing. He could have actually hit that one hard and maybe scored. It was pretty right down the middle as well. But he checked his swing for some reason, and the pitch. Checks his swing again, but he will swing through it, and that is strike three. So three straight strikeouts with runners and Scoring position, not good. Now, sixth inning, McCarthy's still on. There's a base hit for Judge. McCarthy's starting to get tired. Does have one out in the sixth. Has really settled in since the uh, first run, the run in the first inning. So here's Stanton now up. Oh, well, count. That one is hit well. That is going to get down in the gap. Will Judge score? Gentry fields, fires, and Judge is in there as Stanton hits a RBI double and makes it 2 nothing Yankees. And that will be it for Brandon McCarthy on his debut for the Orioles. Goes five and a third, gives up two runs. And Miguel Castro will now be on to pitch. And the pitch from Castro trying to retire the side, limit the damage here. Still runner on second, and only one out. Single will score one more run. And the pitch, oh, two is low. And inside. One, two. Got him swinging. That is a big strikeout for Miguel Castro there. Coming on in relief. And the OO to Walker. There is a strike. Great pitch there from Miguel Castro. The 0 1. Hit slowly to short. Machado fields, fires, and a nice pick by Chris Davis. And that is the inning. But the Yankees strike for one more with the Stanton double. 2 nothing Orioles, mid-sixth. Here's Machado up now in the bottom of the seventh. I rolled his Chapman up. That is not good for the Orioles. They need to strike now. That is inside and high, and Machado swings again. You can see there both Canely and Chapman warming up. Two very good pitchers last year, and Machado will chase again. Two balls that were way outside of the zone, Machado chased both of them, and now he's in a hole, and he really needs to start this inning off well. There's that pitch. That one is laced down the left field line, and it will get out of here. Home run for Machado. The umpires will convene to make sure that it is a home run, and it is ruled a home run. So here's Chris Davis up now. He is 0 for 2 on the day. That is a unexpected home run from Machado. Chased two pitches way outside of the zone and then comes back and hits a laser beam that is just fair and just barely out. That's a big home run for Machado. Davis chases that one and it is an 0 2 count now on Chris Davis. And the pitch. Bounce foul. It'll stay alive.
and the O2 from Sonny Gray. Strike three got Davis. That is a big strikeout as the Yankees still have a 2-1 lead. But here is Jonathan Scope up. They need to score and at least tie this game right here or else it is kind of the end of the road with the talented back end of the Yankees bullpen. The 0-1 from Scope. That ball is laced down the line, and it is by the third baseman, Andujar. And Scope has himself a double. That is huge from Jonathan Scope. Runner now in scoring position, and a single will score him as Aaron Boone now takes Sonny Gray out of the game. That'll be it for Sonny Gray. A great game for him. Only one earned run so far, but the runner on second is his responsibility. There's Valencia now with David Robertson now into pitch. Very good knuckle curve uh, Robertson has. And that ball is foul! Oh, man. That would have tied it. Just foul from Valencia. Ball up the middle, and it's going to be off of Robertson. And he's safe at first. Scope almost ran into trouble there. He saw it up the middle, went to go, and Andujar could have maybe tagged him. I couldn't really tell how far up he was. But he is safe as Valencia at first, and so is Scope at third. So here's Gentry up. Single will score one. And that ball is hit well. Back it goes. And it is gone. A home run for Craig Gentry, the most unlikely of sources. On the Orioles team, his third of the year, and it, he puts the Orioles up 4-2 to two here in the bottom of the seventh. The Orioles trailing 1-0 or 2-0 for the entirety of the game. Then Machado hits a solo home run to lead off the inning. Then after a Davis out... Double from Scope, single for Valencia, and a three-run home run from Craig Gentry showing off the power, what well, little power he has as Mullen chases that. And that is a big home run, as now Chapman probably won't come in, and now the Yankees have to score to keep themselves in this ball game as Mullen swings through a nickel curveball. Very early on that one. The 0-2 to Mullins now. Popped up. Shallow. Coming on is Drury, and he'll make the catch. So here is Chance Cisco up, still struggling very, very badly, is Cisco. And he'll chase that one, tried to check his swing. Could not hold up, and it is an 0-1 count now on Cisco. And the pitch. That is inside on Cisco. Good take. Orioles have really been chasing this game and really have a lot this season. Haven't showed much discipline, but there's used some, and that is a liner. Caught by Didi Gregorius. Here is now bottom of the eighth, one out, Mancini up, doubled earlier in the game as that one is ripped, and that is going to be another, another double for Mancini. He doubled in the sixth, I want to say. I think it was the sixth, but then got stranded at second. Now doubles here as the Orioles have the lead and will look to tack on a couple more. Here's Machado up, obviously the solo home run last inning to get things started. And the pitch swings through that. The 0-1 to Machado. Pitch. Ball's hit high, deep, and it will go foul. Had the distance for a home run, but to no avail as it goes foul. And Machado now in an 0-2 hole. Fouled off as well. 
and the O2 pitch to Manny Machado again. Fouled off again. Big inning here. Orioles want to tack on some more, give themselves some more insurance. That ball's hit well up the middle, and Drury dies, but it gets past him. Mancini will score, and Machado will go into third. That's an RBI triple, and it is 5-2 Orioles. Machado ripped that one, and Drury made a diving attempt trying to save a run, but instead it's just worse as it gets under his glove on the diving attempt. And Mancini scores and a triple for Manny Machado as Chris Davis is now up. That ball is hit, and it's going to be past the infield. Who was pulled in? That is a big hit for Chris Davis as it is now 6-2. to two. The infield was pulled in to try to limit the damage, try to get the runner at third, or that the, trying to get Machado if he went home, if it was a ground ball. But it is a ground ball. It was a ground ball, but it got through. And Scope laces that one. Is it out? No, it's off the wall. Davis will go to third, and Scope has himself a double as the Orioles are now pouring it on on this Yankees bullpen. Here's Danny Valencia up, and he will get intentionally walked to face Cedric Mullins. No, sorry, Craig Gentry. So here's Gentry up, obviously had that huge three-run home run. Now he's up with the bases loaded. Can he get a grand slam? He swings through the slider, and you can tell he was going for it. Davis on third, Scope on second, and Valencia on first. Bottom of the eighth, Orioles lead 6-2. to two. Ground ball, second. They go to first, and no, Gentry beats it out, and it is seven to two. Gentry almost hits into a double play, but uses his blazing speed to uh, to get to first and seven two. Now Mullins up, pitch out, and no one's going. Now I'm gonna be honest with you here. I just wanted Gentry to steal second. But for some reason, Scope tried to steal home on the same play. I, I, uh, just, uh. So that's the end of that. That's the third out. Castro now still, still on in the ninth. He's looking to complete his fourth inning of work. He's been very solid today as Sanchez fouls it off. Obviously, if a runner is in scoring position, it's it goes, I believe, not it's not a safe situation, but you would want to bring in your closer just to, you know, really close the door on them as Sanchez pops out. So here's Neil Walker up, one out, Castro deals. And fouled off by Walker. Castro starting to get a little tired. And the pitch. There's a ball inside. And the pitch to Castro. Or from Castro. Hit up the middle, diving. And again, the, uh, the game <laughs> kind of screwed me here. I went to dive with Machado, but then it switched over, and I was still going to the left, so then Mullins went to the left, and it's going to be a double, and then I pulled Castro. So Blyer will come in, not a safe situation, um, but wanted them to shut the door. So here's Gregorius up, and there's a swing through that. And that ball is hit to right and caught by Gentry, who will run it in and throw it to third. So, and you are, last ch chance for the Yankees today. Down 7-2, we're up through the whole game 
until the bottom of the seventh where Gentry had a three-run shot on top of Machado's solo home run, gave the Orioles a 4-2 lead, and then in the bottom of the eighth, as that ball is bounced, and that will be the game, bottom of the eighth, three more runs for the Orioles, and the Orioles win 7-2. McCarthy in his debut as an Oriole went five and a third, fairly solid innings, gave up two runs. Then Castro was very good. I believe it's uh, three runs, three or you know, three innings total. Uh, you can see the draft here. You saw Machado play the game. McCardle, 20 years old, starting pitcher, our first round draft pick, 92 potential, A potential basically. Feliz, 60 overall by the way. He was signed. Feliz, starting pitcher as well. And 88 potential, so B potential, but very good B potential. Two solid draft picks. He is 22. Then, closing pitcher, Pedro Mercado, 67 overall, but a potential 21 years old. He should be ready for next year to at least be in the bullpen. Ramon Espinosa, 66 overall, B potential. Very good. 87 is that potential. Richard Hester drafted just some for more first base depth, and he's not good. 71 potential, so C uh, potential as we signed Feliz and Mercado and Lopez. Um, but just some more first base depth. It does have C potential, even though it's not very good, you know, just in case. So his Hester was signed. I waited on it, but yeah. Then we got some more bullpen help. He's 21, so yeah. Uh, then we got some more bullpen help. Sergio Carvajal, 64 overall. C potential. Could even go into the bullpen next year. Probably won't. I think Mercado will. And then Hal Simmons, 65 overall. C potential as well. 76 and 74 respectively for Carvajal. And Simmons, overall, I'd say a very good draft. Got four studs with a minimum of 87 potential. Really good. Then to bullpen depth, uh, first base depth. So, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I'll see you next time on this Baltimore Orioles franchise mode. Goodbye.